Hello Pisces and welcome to your February 2021 future love reading. I wanted to take a moment and thank all of you for your prayers and your love and your kind words and um, your love <laughs> again with the love um, while I've been ill. Um, I'm glad to be back um, posting videos as you a lot of you know I haven't posted in three or four weeks, I can't even remember, it's been a while, but I have missed you all, and I, um, I'm i so grateful for all of your support, I really do appreciate it, so thank you from the bottom of my heart, now you get ready to have a reading, let's do a reading, okay, this is your future love, Pisces, what is going on with your future love? What is going on in your future love? This is for Pisces. This is for Pisces. What is going on with your future love? Let's see. We have a very strong connection here, but right now we are disconnected from each other. We have retreat. It's time to disconnect from the world. So... I feel like we have our backs turned to each other, um, not together at this point, emotionally disconnected. There's physical distance here, but the connection is very strong. Past life relationship, you have known each other before. So this person is still very much in it. Okay, they still feel that connection, even though there's this disconnect between the two of you. I feel like the two of you have ran into each other in this lifetime. Could have been timing, could have been distance, um, there could have been other people involved, but there is this disconnect between the two of you. It's like there was maybe some soul recognition here and aware that the two of you are very familiar with each other, your souls are very familiar with each other, but we still have that disconnect. So let's see what's going to happen here, Pisces. This is for Pisces. Their future love. What is going on? If this resonates with you, Pisces, please like, share, and subscribe. And leave me a comment. Make sure you hit the thumbs up button for me. I would greatly appreciate it. If this does not resonate with you at all, Pisces, please do check your moon, your rising, and your Venus sign as this will not resonate with every Pisces out there. Please keep in mind that some of the energies can be vice versa or interchangeable, so however it resonates with you. This is for Pisces. This is for Pisces. What is going on with their future love? Let's see. A lot of things hidden. You weren't getting what you needed. There was a tower moment here. But with every ending, there's a new beginning. Um, they feel disconnected. They feel shut out by you. So they feel this detachment, um, I want to say. They're worried about this. They're, they're starting. It, it, it's like it took this tower moment for this person to realize exactly what you were to them. Okay. So let's get started with the, the bottom of the deck. So we got this nine of swords. So. I feel like your future love, Pisces, is a past love, not only in this lifetime, but in previous lives, lifetimes, okay? Um, and there, this person is just starting to wake up to that reality. You probably knew it, but whatever went down here between the two of you to cause this tower moment, um, I just feel like, you know, it, that had to happen for this person to wake up and realize what you are. Okay, so now they're going crazy. Now they don't know what to do. What do I do? Pisces won't talk to me. Um, 
they feel ignored. They feel like you've walked away. They feel like you kind of hold, um, you hold all the cards here. So you are definitely heavily on their mind, on their mind, um, with this Nine of Swords here. Very anxious, a lot of anxiety, um, and you know, when somebody realizes what they've lost, and they wake up to the, you know, to the realization that this was really something. This, you know, our, our souls are tied together. It's what this person is going through. It's causing, causing them a lot of sleepless nights. Nine of Swords. That is air energy. Now we got the um, Nine of Cups. Um, with this card, I feel like with this combination, and this is for some of you, not all of you, I feel like this person is doing a little bit... Um, too much drinking because of this. This is a lot of stress. Um, I feel like you may get one of those, um, this is for some of you, like a late night text or try to get a hold of you in some way when like, you know, they've had a couple drinks and their defenses are down and they're feeling more vulnerable. So they may try to get in touch with you that way. Um, this person, I feel in the past, um, once what they want um, is more more focused on filling their own cups and um, I feel like they had a lot of secrets here and that's what kind of kind of brought the tower down um, but this person's realizing a lot and they've realized what they've lost so now they want their happiness back Right now, they want to be happy again. They are not happy right now. They're not happy. Nine of Cups. That is water energy. They want to work on this. They do. I do feel like they um, watch you from a distance. Um, I feel like they they're going to try to kind of um it, it, it was more it was a very imbalanced situation previously like you were giving everything and it left you quite empty and this person was taking a lot so now they want to kind of balance things out and really work on it you know together if you will allow that three of pentacles that is earth energy see i don't know if you will allow that it's at a stalemate, right? We're at a stalemate. We're at a standstill. But this person had to wake up to, to what you are to them. They had to wake up. So your back is turned. There's no movement. Um, but ultimately, they know it's going to be your decision, Pisces, if you want to open up your arms be open and vulnerable to them with your emotion and your heart again. Um, but it's, it's not going to be an easy thing because they really screwed up here. And they really, it's, it's like they, you knew what it was. It was such a good thing, but they didn't get it, but they get it now. Um, two of swords that, um, is air energy. All right, Pisces. I'm going to read the energies of the cards. If the sign of the person that you're dealing with, have dealt with, will be dealing with in the future, right? Future love read. If their sign pops up, all the better. Cross watchers, keep in mind that some of these energies can be vice versa, interchangeable, right? It is a general reading. Um, so you can assign the roles as you wish. But they see you as kind of on guard. Right, the high priestess protects her secrets. Um, so you're not showing your hand. Um, I feel like you're being very quiet. But also with this card, this person had secrets and um, they know that they had secrets and maybe you found some of those secrets out. But here's the thing. Um, with this and this, and look, here's separation as well. Separation between the two of you. 
time apart from your partner is on the horizon. There's distance. There's there's physical distance and emotional distance. Back is turned. Back is turned. Back is turned. Right, and it's because they left you empty, and they know that. So they, it's like they they just let you walk away. They let they allowed that, and now they regret that. But you kept giving to their cup, and they kept taking, and taking, and it left you all with all these empty cups. And you just kind of slipped away. Eight of Cups, that is water energy. It brought down the tower, right? It was not, it was not um, built on firm foundation when it's so imbalanced like that. And I feel like you very much um, felt taken advantage of. And this person is very aware that they took advantage of you. But this brought down the tower, you know, oh, as kind and gentle as a Pisces can be, I mean, a person can only take so much, right? Um, so the tower came down and there was an ending here. But with every ending, there are new beginnings. There are realizations. Um, they feel like you are freeing yourself from this, right? The sun's very free. They want to heal the situation. The sun card is very healing. You could be dealing with a Leo or somebody with strong Leo in their chart. But with this card, this person is realizing what you are. Is realizing that soul connection. I feel like you recognized it. You recognized that their soul and felt that closeness. And this is why it was so easy for you to just give unconditionally of yourself they didn't get it, but they get it now, right? They're awake to that. They're awake to what you are. But now is it too late, right? They're out in the cold. They, they feel ignored. So what are they going to do? What are they going to do, right? How can they get back into your good graces? Five of Pentacles, they feel very lost and alone. Even if they are with someone else, I do want to say that because some of them had some secrets here. They, they're not, wherever they are, they're not happy. All right. This is for Pisces. Any more information in regards to their future love? They may get triggered by jealousy. You are very guarded. They're trying to get control of themselves. Wow. A lot of major arcana here, by the way. So you could be dealing with an earth sign or somebody with strong earth in your chart, but I very, very much feel like this is you. Okay. You can have strong earth in your chart as well. But the energy of the queen of pentacles, male or female, doesn't matter. Very focused on... Um, goals very focused on stability very focused on some self-love here taking care of self and those around you that need it and waiting for correct offers to come to you right um stable things need to stabilize or you are not going to allow this person back into your space and they know that okay so, this is what I'm getting with this card, okay? First of all, um, like I said, with this person having secrets, there could have been some competition here, okay? Um, games being played, that kind of thing with this Five of Swords. Also with this, I feel like their jealousy gets triggered as well because they do have their eye on you. I feel that strongly. So their jealousy gets triggered as well. And this jealousy, um, along with their awakening to what the connection is, could trigger movement. Okay. This person with all of these, I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, 
six major arcana. So that is, this person is starting to see things differently, clearly, um, starting to go through their own transformation. You walked away and now you're very defensive and guarded. And it would take something very special for this person to do offers. I mean, they would really have to um, come at you so correctly to get past your defenses. And they would have to be willing to fill your cup so full that they would overflow because it was so unfair to you. And they know that. So with these two cards here, it was, you know, there was an ending. It was, it, it all came crashing down. Um, and the emperor here, now this person could have control issues. Okay, they may have tried to control you. But with these two cards here, they're trying to get control of their own self, right? So that they can come back and heal the situation with you. So they're trying to get back on top of their game. All right, so you could be dealing with an Aries or somebody with strong Aries in their chart. They want a second chance. So after this realization, they're going to want a second chance and it's going to be up to you. It's your call on if you want to give that second chance to them, okay? So while this person has been shut out, while this person has been um, out there, right? Feeling um, ignored by you, lost and alone, they're going through uh, their own transformation here with this death card. You could be dealing with a Scorpio or somebody with strong Scorpio in their chart. But they're learning a lot. <laughs> That's for sure. They're learning a lot. So they're trying to clear these obstacles and find their way back to you. You see the sun? They're, they're trying to find their way back to you. And... Um, it's, it's a very difficult situation. I feel like you were dealing with a very, um, a bit of a selfish individual and, and you just simply weren't going to take it anymore and now they realize what they've lost. You know, that, that connection. So, um, up to you Pisces on what you want to do with this, but I do see them coming back around. Right? All right, Pisces, like I said at the beginning of the video, thank you all so much for all your warmth and your love. I do appreciate it while I've been sick. The live shows um, will start again uh, when I'm feeling a little bit stronger. Um, not this week, maybe next, maybe the week after. I don't know. It just depends. Um, it's It's been terrible, um, to be quite honest. Um, I'm, I'm glad to still, still be here with you guys. That is for sure. It's been, it's been something else, but I can't wait to start the live shows again. Um, but I'm just kind of taking it day by day. Um, but getting better every day. Um, I hope you guys are doing well out there. Um, for those of you that are new, um, my weekly schedule, my video, when I, uh, post my videos. Um, the schedule is down below in the description box. And you can also follow me on um, Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, and now TikTok. We're trying out some TikTok action. See how that goes. Um, so follow me there. Make sure you follow the links because there are some imposters out there. <laughs> um, you guys, I hope you are taking very good care of yourself. And I hope you're staying happy and healthy out there. And I will talk to you all very, very soon. God bless.